What is going on, my nerd army? It is time, guys, once again for another reaction. So, guys, this is going to be the newest Honest Trailers. This is going to be the Honest Trailers Revenge of the Sith reaction. So, we should have figured this one was coming because this is the finale that's supposed to be the best one of the prequels. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that on this video. So, here we go, guys. I've got it queued up. Here we go. Disney's bitter ex-boyfriend comes the finale of the saga so bad this ridiculous overacted disappointing mess is known as the good one <laughs> Star Wars Revenge of the Sith return to a time long ago when there was still hope that the prequels could stick the landing <laughs> the film that starts out semi-promising this is where the fun begins then falls flat on its stupid yep. face Watch Star Wars finish its turn to the dark side as everything you've grown to hate returns. Mitty Clorians. Young things. Can't do good. And cringe as Anakin Skywalker completes his journey from annoying kid to obnoxious teenager <laughs> to insufferable Jedi Knight. In a performance so robotic, his body finally catches up to his acting. Although, to be fair, no one can make this drag sound natural. Love won't save you, Padme. <laughs> Only my new powers can do that. Natalie Portman is back, and she's just kind of there. Weep as this once proud queen, senator, and warrior spends the whole movie barefoot and pregnant. <laughs> Anna, I want to have our baby back home on Naboo. I can go early and fix up the baby's room. And finally witness what the whole trilogy has been building to. Anakin Skywalker becoming Darth Vader. Yep. Watch the greatest movie villain of all time turn evil because he's passed up for a promotion. <laughs> Has a bad dream about his secret wife. Commits Jedi side when an old man gives him a super vague promise about cheating death. <laughs> then gets burned to a crisp because his teacher is standing on a hill. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! So, Darth Vader is a whiny, dumb, easy-to-manipulate lapdog who got his suit because he couldn't quite jump high enough. <laughs> Mystery solved. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up, George. Experience the best Star Wars prequel by default, simply because something occasionally happens. Even if that something is a lizard chasing a robot on a unicycle. But don't worry, fans of sitting and talking, because every time things start to get interesting, George Lucas gives us some of the sittiest, talkiest scenes in the trilogy, featuring council meetings. The nature of General Grievous will end this war. Therapy sessions. Close to you. <laughs> Yes. Commute. With all due respect, Master, oh, is he not the chosen one? Oh, Weird God, bubble God. shows. Mm -hmm. I don't think Anakin. And just staring out of the window. <laughs> that does happen a lot, this movie. slowly building up to the most obvious reveal of all time that the evil Sith Lord is the sinister old guy who talks exactly like the evil Sith Lord <laughs> gasp not the guy who does four evil head turns in one conversation I'm the Jedi attempt to create life from dying <laughs> not from a Jedi what a twist after two pointless wheel-spinning movies, watch a finale where Anakin goes from peaceful Jedi to child-murdering maniac in yep. less than ten minutes. It's not the Jedi way. He must live! There are too many of them. What are we going to do? <laughs> Followed by 20 no, minutes of George kidding. Lucas jamming kidding. everyone into their New Hope starting positions. Yep. Even if it ruins the franchise continuity. Like, how did Leia remember her mom's face? She was... Very beautiful. Why didn't Obi-Wan remember Leia? That boy is our last hope. No. There is an after. How did Owen and Baru age 40 years and 20 years? Why does all the galaxy's technology look like it got worse? And how could we ever take Darth Vader seriously again after we've seen this? No! <laughs> no is right. 
starring the following proof that more does not equal better one ham-handed cameo goodbye Chewbacca. Two disposable CGI armies. Two cyborgs with breathing problems. Four lightsabers at the same time. Four unnecessary CGI flippy jumps. Oh Eight severed limbs. <laughs> <laughs> About 17 things R2-D2 couldn't do in the original. And thousands of highly trained Jedi Knights going down like total punks. <laughs> Seriously? You can cut through droids and clones like tissue paper and that's how you go out? That's, that's pathetic, man. Star Wars, episode 111, The Force Awakens. <laughs> if you think the movie was bad, wait until you see what they cut out. It's broken. Can you understand what he's saying? I'm pretty sure that beep is down. Oh, yes, 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 you're right. Beep is up. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies, can't get enough of the prequels? Then be sure to check out Michael Barrity and Belated Media's What If Episode 3 Were Good, the epic conclusion to their prequel trilogy. Oh, Click the link in the box above it. or the younglings get it. May the Force be with you. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> you were the chosen one. You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Hold me, like you did on the lake on Naboo. <laughs> power. Unlimited power. You underestimate my power. OMG, so excited for Star Wars. <laughs> Guys, that was, that was fucking hilarious. I've actually got kind of a headache from, from laughing so hard on that one. Oh my god. I was starting to like tear up from laughing so damn hard. That was fucking great, guys. To be honest, that's got to be one of my favorite honest trailers so far. That was that was really really funny. <clears throat> I gotta catch my breath after that one, man. That was fucking great, guys. I thought that shit was hilarious. I really did. I really thought that was so funny. Um, I love honest trailers. They're one of my favorite. Like Screen Junkies is one of my favorite channels on YouTube. Um, honest trailers, movie fights. Um, can't can't beat them, guys. They're great, 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 great YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to them. Go check them out. Um, but guys, that video itself was hilarious. It hit on all the points and all the reasons a lot of people hate the prequels. Now, if you're one of those people that you're a millennial and you grew up and you love the prequels because that's what you grew up with, that's what you started with. That's great, guys. That's fine. There are aspects of the prequels of every single one of them that I do like. Not really a whole lot of aspects, but there are aspects of every one that I do like. Guys, I, gr I grew up in the 80s, mid-80s, so I grew up with my mom already had seen those. I watched all of them. I had them on VHS. I watched them all the fucking time. Um, I burnt out my original copies, and then I got another original copy that I never opened. Um, so I still have a pre-1999 version without Mannequin Skywalker in the damn fucking movie, so... Yeah, um, I still have it on, on uh, VHS, and recently Jeremy Jans, the YouTuber, he actually found a, a website of these fans that recreated the original content and basically took off the bullshit that they added on there and put it back to its original state. So that's pretty awesome. I definitely have to check that out and try to give me a, a hold of one of those. I have the Blu-ray special edition sets of everything. But they all have Mannequin Skywalker at the end of Reven or Return of the Jedi. So, guys, let me know what you guys thought about that honest trailer for Revenge of the Sith. Um, let me know what you guys thought about the video and my reaction to the video down in the comments down below, guys. And make sure, if you guys enjoyed this video, to rate it with that big thumbs up, guys. It greatly help out the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. And, guys, you can always come back here on Nerds Marais for another reaction and other great content I put out every single day, guys. So I will see you next time right here on Nerds Marais. Peace out. If you liked the video you just saw, make sure you rate it with that big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out all the other nerdy videos we have just like this one. Also, check out my Patreon account and become a patron if you like for access to exclusive content.